Hello, hello. My name is Annie, and today I'm doing my first check in for the month of October. Coffee? So it's been a very busy week for me. It was really supposed to wind down this week, but then I had, as always, an emergency, and it has been a massive week. So unfortunately, I haven't had any time to go and watch other people on YouTube. I do like to get around to watching pretty much every Australian YouTuber, at least, and then the smattering of others from other countries. But good gosh, I have a lot to catch up on. All right, so the first was on Sunday last week, no spend. So we begin with the 2nd to the 8th. Um, again, working, working, right? Uh, I had just mainly gross groceries, I see. I bought some snacks online. Uh, they were cheaper to buy Red Rock Deli chips on Amazon than they were at Coles and Woolies. So I picked up some of those. Um, drinks refill for hosting. I didn't really have any plans to host, but Friday rolled around and I bought my friend something off Amazon and I have it I had it delivered to my place, so he picked it up and everyone was like, you know what, why don't we just do dinner? So, yep, we did dinner at my place. So I sent my best friend on a hunt for some premium mooncakes. Now, they've gotten so very, very unbearably expensive uh, recently. Uh, I think you get now four in a box for about 60 to $75, which is just too expensive for what they are. They're a pastry um, and dessert kind of thing. Um, they come with multiple flavors, but yeah. The week after, we thought, well, half of them were going to be like oh, half price, right? So I had a walk around um, my Asian supermarket and all the fancy Asian bakeries, and they were either not discounted at all or only discounted by mm, 20%. And I was like, mm, no. So I sent my best friend to pick up a premium box from... Um, the name escapes me right now, but I will put a picture on it of, of it up on screen, um, a chocolate store. And they were doing, I think, 40% off plus a buy one, get one free. So we basically had chocolate mooncakes. <laughs> um, anyway, we, I covered some of her dinner. She covered dessert. It'll all come out in the wash. So my dinner portion was $50.72. And subscriptions, um, yeah, nothing very exciting. First week was $257.29. On to this week. This week was a spendy week. My coffee beans came out, $64. So, yeah, it is what it is. That comes out of um, groceries and food and eating out. That's the budget for it. Aldi, I was really busy on Monday, so I worked a 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. day. So I picked up lunch, sushi for $7. Then on Tuesday, Amazon had a sale day, and I've been talking about buying one of those instant pot pressure cooker things for a few months now. It finally dropped down, so $125.14. So I picked one up just a small three liter one. I have given it a go. Uh, yeah, I have thoughts, but I, it might be user error. So I'm going to try it again. Um, and we'll see. I mean, it does what it says it does. Just the time you have to add on extra time for it to come to pressure and all of that stuff. If you watch my cooking videos, there will, <laughs> will be a disaster video coming up. Toilet paper, I got a um, mop head attachment for the Dyson. So my laziness knows no, no bounds. I really do put off mopping my entire apartment. <laughs> it's just, you know, with the bucket and 
annoying. So I bought one of those mop head attachments. They actually work pretty well. So 30 bucks well spent. Um, some subs medical subscription, uh, uh, pres prescriptions, sorry. Groceries, Aldi thing, yeah. Cleaning supplies. Oh, Thursday. Thursday. It was a disaster. My building had works, roadworks and cabling being dug up outside without notice, by the way. And they hit a water main. So understandably, we didn't have water for ages, ages, ages. You know, I'm an administrator in... Um, my buildings like group chat, you know, we've just added, I've just added a lot of my neighbors into a WhatsApp group. And, you know, shortly after dinner time, my phone started blowing up like, does anyone have water? And I was working. So I was on a Zoom call and I was like, I'm just going to ignore everything. And then my phone got just blasted with so many messages like Annie what's going on what's going on what's going on I'm like I have no idea so yeah fun fun we didn't have water um Sydney water did come out and kind of fix emergency repairs in throughout the middle of the night but by the time we all woke up on Friday morning we were like there's no water still um we're gonna trek to the local shopping center to brush our teeth <laughs> so that was fun then there was no hot water it was it was a mess I'm glad I had just just bought a pallet of bottled water um so that I could just take it out and about with me <laughs> if I had to go see a client but good god that was a mess so Friday night I resigned myself to fate and got myself my usual takeaway. I had a Thai takeaway, but I did not want to get up off my couch. It was not a thing. Anyway, this week was $387.55, which is pretty good for me considering I bought my instant pot and, you know, home goods, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, all that fun stuff. So my month so far has been $644.84. Let's unstuff. First onto bills and utilities. Nothing big came out, just a few subscriptions. So 10 bucks is coming out. 20 bucks out, $10 back in. So now I have $1,100, and $10 in bills and utilities. Now I did get my next uh, electricity bill. Uh, I did turn on a little bit of air con last month, um, just on the particularly hot days. And the bill surprisingly came in lower than I anticipated. It was only about $10 more than usual. So, you know, that's pretty good for me. Plus I did have um, my electricity supplier drop rates by like two cents per kilowatt hour. <laughs> I'm not sure if that helped. Um, what really did help I think was I bought myself a fan really kind of it's quite powerful it sits on my wine cabinet it's only about that big that big 30 centimeters I think is the blade um, but it's quite a little nifty fan so hopefully that can stay low we'll see Next month, I believe my water is coming out, as is my gas quarterly bill. So I think that's just high for now. Medical, I'm going to take out 25. 30 comes out, five goes back in. So I have 250, 350, dollars in medical.
Nothing came out of business. Groceries. I went a bit wild with groceries and eating out, um, but most of it was my coffee. So first week, 145. Second week, 170. So 285 left. So I started the month with 600. That comes out 250, 270, 280, 285. So two weeks left, that should be plenty theoretically. I don't really have plans. Um, quite frankly, I want to take a little bit of a break from work. <laughs> but I also want to work because of the fly screens. I have a plan for that later on, I'll tell you. Splurge. I'm buying my dry shampoo out of this because quite frankly, it's not exactly a need toiletry. It's one of those, hey Annie, how lazy do you wanna to be today and not wash your hair? So 10 bucks coming out, so I have to break 100. So in Splurge, I have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390. It was pretty funny. I had to explain to nearly all of the men in my building what dry shampoo was. When the water went out, they were like, but, but how will we wash our hair? I was like, gentlemen, have you heard of this magic? <laughs> no. And all the girls were like, who has an extra can? <laughs> the group chat went a bit crazy. Um, 390 in splurge. Home and miscellaneous. This is where my instant pot and all that toilet paper fun stuff is coming out of. So I spent 20 bucks in the first week and 190 in the second week. So 1915. So double checking, 1,500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10, 15. 1,915 in home and miscellaneous. Now, last time I was talking about a lady who came and gave me a quote uh, for her family business for the fly screens and guess what? She came through with quite a competitive quote. So I've decided I will be calling her tomorrow and booking her in. So... This is not enough money, so I will be raiding the savings challenges. Family, family. I forgot what I had to buy mom, but I bought mom something for 55 bucks. So 150, 60, 65. $165 in family, plus I have a... Uh, Big one due, I uh, did just get an email yesterday saying that in, I think, three or four days' time, um, I've auto-renewed my mum's yearly um, phone phone bills. So I've just got both my parents on the yearly prepaid um, catch mobile plans. It's just easier that way. Um, you know, it's unlimited calls and texts and, you know, enough data that if they're out and about, you know, for the whole year and plus it rolls over each month. It's a good deal. Anyway, so that's going to be coming out soon, which is pretty much nearly all of this. It's, it's 100 and, I don't know, 20 bucks, 150 bucks, something, whatever. $165 for mum's phone bill left to unstuff next, next fortnight. Um, yeah, I do prefer to have all of my parents' bills kind of like that in my name or one of my siblings' names. I just feel like there's just so many scams out there now. Um, you know, and my parents are reasonably tech-savvy and sceptical, but, you know, I'm the most pessimistic, glass, half-empty kind of person you'll ever meet. So I look at everything and I'm like, you're a scam. You know, <laughs> you could be the ATO calling me and be like, you're a scam. Contact my accountant. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I just prefer it this way. Nearly 
all of their bills are actually in my name or one of my siblings' names. So we pay for everything and it just bypasses them and it gives us all peace of mind that my parents will never be one of those we got scammed out of our life savings kind of people you know whatever plus you know it's just easy easier just to take off the mental burden of freaking out every time my parents want to buy something online anyway family gifts and hosting i bought some drinks uh, most of it usually comes out of my grocery budget anyway, but 30 bucks came out, leaving me with $30 in gifts and hosting. Yeah, I like to have um, those cans of Coke and Solo and lemonade and all of that stuff sitting in my pantry so I could just throw it in the fridge whenever I need to. Um, yeah. So... Let's talk about what I want to do for the fly screens. I did end up getting um, two additional quotes, which came in at about 3,900 and 4,000, eh, 4,000 plus 4,300 ish. So they were very, very expensive. Um, the company I've decided to go with, they manufacture their own fly screens in-house and they'll install. So I think that's why they've been able to come in at a far, far more competitive quote. It brings it down by about $1,000. So I need to come up with three grand. Um, plus, I just like the lady more. Um, so I'm going to go to month ahead. Now, this was my original intention for this, was to be using this for air conditioning for summer. Um, however, bills is looking quite healthy. I do overstuff my bills every month. It gets $500 a month, bills and utilities, which does cover everything, including like home insurance, which I pay yearly. I, that's going to be due in May. And plus, you know, my yearly subscriptions like Amazon Prime and all of that stuff come out of here. So I do overstuff this by a bit, thinking that, you know, insurance will go up every year. Um, so right now I do have enough to cover my summer aircon usage. Um, and then obviously coming closer to May, I will see how much home insurance costs because that's easily couple hundred um maybe even half of that so i'm going to be dedicating all 560 dollars of this to my fly screens and then i will restart this all over again but that's still not going to be enough so as is custom new phone my new iphone uh, this is never going to happen guys i'm going to be taking five hundred dollars out of this and leaving me with two hundred dollars and i will um yeah just i mean it's i don't need the new phone but i want fly screens so it is what it is i will rub this out later Yeah, I had some money in the buffer as well. I might empty this out depending on what is it like 35 bucks plus birthday has 55 bucks and I can let my groceries eat some of the extra, you know, 20, 30 bucks if I need to. So I've got 500, 1,050, 60, $1,060 going to be going to fly screens. So if my maths is correct, I should have $2,975. So 1,500, 2,000, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 50, 60, 75, $2,975. So 
yeah, this basically just covers it. Um, I'm going to book, book it in and yeah, sorry, new phone. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I've been delaying doing this for a year and a half. I've lived in a, my apartment for a year and a half and I haven't had it done. So uh, it is expensive. Plus I want to do some things in the kitchen and the bathroom as well. Home renovations, $2,975. On to rollover. My first week of rollover, I didn't have much, $2.86. And the second week of rollover was much higher at $7.14, which takes me to a perfect $10. So 10 bucks goes in here and, you know, I might actually just use this rollover money and throw it into home and boost that up a bit. I do have a little bit of excess buffer money in my accounts just rolling about because I do get things like cash back. Uh, but yeah, just to hit that three grand, which isn't much, you know, I could just take 20 bucks out of groceries and suck it up, you know, snacks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a lot of money out the window, isn't it? <laughs> but it is what it is and um, adulting, right? Anyway, I hope you've all been well and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.